Hello and welcome to Master Chalice with your story laws in the mad. High load of process army just be playing the 33 boxes madman. Good as fuck it does a 13 and all around 200 guy. Now, this game and the series will be slightly different in some regards. The game is still in early access, so it may happen that the something wipes my save and I don't get to finish the game. Which would surprise me if I just was unable to finish the game in any way. And also, I'm going to record each episode uh, around 24 hours before I publish them. So, let's just say that I'm going to record the next episode on either Thursday or Friday. Uh, and it will be published on Friday evening. So, this will be an interesting experience because it's been a while since I've actually not had episodes recorded in advance because this also means I won't get that uh, whole nifty next episode thing but anyway enough babbling let's get in uh, heroic blood names names uh, let's go serious for this time normal not iron mode uh, and I'll skip the tutorial because I've done the tutorial before uh, in the past, though a lot has changed in, since then, so... Okay, let's do the tutorial. Okay. Oh. Well, we can already choose a house. Nice, okay. Alright, uh, let's see, what do we have here? I know there was a house scale, wasn't there? Apparently not. South Kane, though. Okay, let's grab House Kane. Then uh, we'll also bring uh, House. Let's see. <laughs> Akatash. That's so close to Akatash that it's surely a reference, so I'm bringing them. Then uh, let's do letter T. Talon. There are two talons. Huh. Right, what else is the House Tarantino? Uh, sure, why not? Alright, uh, what else do we have? Uh, let's go with something from F. Fairfield, Falcon, Vaseline, Fortless. Is there Farseer? There is no sign of a House Farseer. Oh well. Hmm. Okay, so bro, we do need um, more names, right? House for hey. Why not? Why not? I'm not going to have any wedding wisdom and honor. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna fall for that. Okay, and then uh, we need to be House Da Vinci or damn steel, dark blade, dark flame, dark lights, lots of darkness. Lots of darkness. Plenty of darkness. And there's also plenty of D, D, D. How's dead? <laughs> no, that sounds really ominous. Because, really, we don't want our people to die. That's the exact opposite of what we actually desire in this. Because I think our people die usually in s results in pretty shit situations. How's Dragon Rat? No. What else is there? How stuffy. Dunwich. I think I had Dunwich in a game. Uh, when it when the game had just get, come up to uh, the early access platform. Okay, what else to get? Uh, we could go with House School Game if we could find that. <laughs> oh, actually I wanted to see if Delvani is in this. Nope. No sign of Delvani. Probably because no one actually offered any... Oh, is there Indurel? Nope. No Indurel either. Boo. Boo. Uh, Iron Hand seems nice there. Behind the sun lies the moon. Wait. That makes no sense. Rise from dust to dust return. Do your best. Ah, that's a nice motto. 
If I got the crystal flame, let be sure. I have no idea what this vanguard will actually consist of. It's taking too long. Patience. Patience. I don't see what patience has to do with this. It should have happened by now. Life keeps to its own timetable, not ours. Oh, it doesn't stop us from trying. Good morning. Your ruler has risen. Rejoice and let bellow the horns of birth. Right. I know how strange all of this looks, but there's an easy... Immortal protector of the nation, progeny of the great bloodlines, master of strategies, eternal conductor, and forger of matrimony. We're here to advise you on how to handle ruling and commanding... The horns of battle! Every time! Fine, we'll have to do this later. The Cadence is attacking. Heroes, jump in! Get in there! The ruler will be with you shortly! And off they go. We'll explain later. We just need you to take command, because our citizens, understandably, find it hard to trust a giant talking chalice. We are not just a giant talking but chalice. the nation will listen to you, because you're of their blood. Forged from the bloodlines of the great houses. Oh, and one last thing. Unfortunately, the bloodline ritual that was used to create you also bound you to us. So you can never leave the throne. But do not despair. You can still command your heroes. Look inward, and you will find that your mind can follow them anywhere. This can't be good for my bullshit. Yet? Yeah? Great. Now, take command and search the area. The cadence is out there somewhere. By which I mean it will not be good for my buddy. Okay, tell me more about yourself because you seem really... Yeah, I did the rotation part. Shoom, shoom. Yeah, there's the camera centered on the heroes. Okay, now we get to see. Because I have a suspicion that this guy can't run very well. Details. No siblings. Skills. No skills? Alright, equipment. And not a lot going on in this either. Oh, he's nervous. Decreased max hit points. Decreased accuracy. Andrew Kane. You're not the best guy I've ever seen. I don't remember if this game actually benefited from any sort of a... Yeah, like, you want me to click that? Oh, it's probably only for the tutorial. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna step him over there. Maybe he'll see something. Does it look like it? Okay, you. What do you know? <laughs> Lots of personality. <laughs> okay, move there. Oh. Alright, so I accidentally... So see this uh, little point, the triangle? In XCOM that would still mean that that would be area you can step in. In this it does not. What can you tell me about yourself? Decreased movement range. Of course you do. You don't have movement range. Okay, this guy, we're not letting that guy breed. We're getting him out of the gene pool. I know it's rude at all, but, you know, it's for the best. Alright, you archery skellywaggy person. Find us something to shoot. No, I don't like this particular area. Yeah. Just confirm that. 
Ik kom sterft. Dat is wel een wat voor mij. Alright. Uh, is dit one of our fastest moving units? Ah, there we are. First catch of the day. We can't tell you much about the cadence because not much is known. It's old, first sighted centuries ago. It cares only for destroying our nation with its corruption. That's where pawns like you see here come in. Think of them as attack dogs the Cadence creates to spread corruption in the world. This one... This won't be too beneficial. Oh, and there's a lapse, lapse as well. Okay. Cadence cowards. They'd rather stay back and snipe at you than fight up close. Be wary. If your heroes are hit, they may forget some of their combat training. The mind is just as vulnerable as the body. It isn't even in, like the way that the. That could have been avoided. Yes, it could have. Could have been worse. At least they belong to heroic bloodlines. How about that, eh? One down, untold millions to go. All right. Uh, I want to see if he can throw that far enough. Mm, nope. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, well. That's one move, missed it. Okay, you slug. Oh wait, that's not sl that slug. This is the slug. So this guy isn't being particularly effective either. In moving quick in the head. Seeds. Arguably the lowliest of pawns are more nuisance than menace. But if you're going to remember one thing. Don't let those runts form a posse. Keep them apart. Otherwise, it'll be like when caber jacks get together at a tavern. Except not the best night of your life. Right, can you charge over there? That was a really bad idea. We spotted a lot of enemies now. Why did they even do that? Like, what... Could possibly have. How could I possibly have seen that as a good idea? Right, I was hoping to actually be able to hit the seed. Like, I was hoping it was some sort of an area effect thing. It's not. Alright, gather up with the rest of them. Center up. Can we attack anyone? Nope. This guy might actually be able to do that then. Which is not enough. You know, it's a start. But this guy... We really need him out of the gene pool. That guy on the other hand looks really useful, but he's probably going to die because I fucked up. Oh no. Or not. It was a, just a glancing blow. This one? Yeah, they can't actually deal too much damage to that guy. It's as if he's an armored unit of some sort. I don't know if there's any sort of flanking in this. Anyway, let's get started. First of all, kill that. Apparently, we. Brothers should now shed chain. So that means. Alright, move him ahead as well. Oh, should probably stay out of that guy's reach with this guy there. Because he is pretty much out of health. Which is not ideal. Because it sent that guy ahead. That is not an issue. Uh, maybe send him back a little. Because I really don't actually want anyone to die here. Other than the enemy. The enemy dying is completely fine. That was a miss. Fancy that. See, it takes their XP away, which is nasty. But there's no cover based mechanics as far as I know. Would be sort of weird to have, I guess. 
Oh, that was a miss. I very much can live with that. Alright, uh, I needed to walk behind them. They cover from the lapses. But from one of them made away and killed the other one. Yes. Didn't get as much XP back as he lost there. Alright. Can we? We can. That was just a glance exploder. Ooh. That's not a good thing. Can we move over there? And then maybe just maybe hit someone with this? Effectively? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. Ah. No harm done. Better to take some of their health away than to just uh, leave them be. Can you kill that guy now? Thank you. The victory in honor, whichever, whatever that means. This should mean that that guy should be able to... Uh. Okay. He says he can kill him, but he doesn't do it. There must be some other mechanics as well at work as well, so that should help though. Not enough. Alright, can you run ahead close enough to allow for aiming at that fellow? No, apparently not. Okay, try again. Oh well. Can't hit anything. Okay, so the cavalry check is still looking for safe places to be. A glancing plow. What determines that? Dexterity? What determines the character's dexterity? Good breeding, I guess. This guy, though. That guy, that, that cavalry check? He's gonna have to be the head of a cavalry check house. Because his stats are pretty effective, I think. This guy though, this guy needs to be removed from the gene pool. As previously mentioned. Okay. Give him a good bashing. Okay, the archer. We still have a lapse remaining somewhere. That's where he's hiding. You keep hiding. You keep hiding. Uh and then all right gonna have to walk over here oh apparently that was, no that wasn't fight area I misunderstood hey you slow gabber do something useful Thanks. Just like the battle of Saturn's peak. Is it? That went better than I expected. So well, only well, well oh done. I knew you'd have a knack for this. Oh, Iron Hand. Okay, Iron Hand needs to be a house that survives. Right. So this is our nation, and as we said, we are not in the best of shape. That muck you see surrounding us is the Cadence. It's what created the pawns, corrupted our lands, and is slowly tightening on us like a noose. But we do have one advantage. Thanks to several enchanted materials that make up our body, we've been endowed with certain powers. One of them being a way to cleanse the Cadence from this world. It's really quite a miraculous process, wherein we harness the properties of... The thing is, it takes a long time for us to charge up for this. A long time. All of the heroes you just commanded in battle will be long gone when we're finally ready. With all that time still ahead, we need you to protect us. 
You will take charge of the nation, command its citizens worthy of becoming heroes, and ensure that the cadence does not reach the capital. Now let's check out that keep you just saved. The keeps. Bloodline forgers of the nation. The stonemasons did good work here. I'll thank them later. Here, you will appoint one hero as a regent, and one as a partner. And the more experience they have, the more they'll pass on to their children. That goes for traits and personalities, too. Everything's game. And keep in mind, assigning heroes to keeps retires them from combat. You can't have one foot at home and one in the battlefield. Well, here's the thing. This guy will be regent, but... Glom's in slow learner. Wait. This is the one with the most hit points, right? No. Wait, who was it then? Jacob in hand? Wait. Logar. Jacob. But one of the gabba checks was really good. Was that Akatesh then? No, Akatesh is the puny slow one. He's the one we don't want in the pool of... No, it must have been Logar then. Plums in slow learner. Those don't sound like good traits. Oh. He's a good fella there. Now that your regent is appointed, it's time to decide on a partner. Although this isn't an arrangement out of love, who knows? Maybe it'll turn into that. We've seen it happen. Personality, traits, experience, they're all important here. But just because this is an arrangement of necessity doesn't mean you should reduce these heroes to a pile of numbers either. They deserve better than that. Because the children can only be shadow checks. We say everything else is no chance for children. Alright, uh. Well, oh, we can't see the side stats. Huh. No, no, that doesn't. That doesn't sound all that impressive. Base strength, sickly, slow, and cocky. I don't want slow. That's the issue. Hmm. Well, this one is not slow, at least. Fine. Many happy returns. Let's give the newlyweds some privacy, eh? At least I have something going. It's a lot to take in, but you'll handle it, or your mind will become as cracked as our body. You'll be fine. Now then, please join us back at the capital so we can show you some of your other responsibilities. Okay. And welcome back. You are here, right? It's a little hard to tell if you're still in your mind's eye or whatever. This is where your heroes return to after battle. From here, you may equip them with any skills or weapons they may have earned, as well as perform research. Basically, we can devote some of our power to help the war effort and the nation. Whether it's building new keeps, starting a Sage Rites Guild, or a Standards Crucible. Fun stuff. Alright, what do we have in heroes? This guy leveled up, right? Hmm. That is a really useful skill, by the way. I have given it a fair bit of use in the past for the characters. You see, we have a couple of regions. No standards, no satiates, no trainees, and none, no one's dead yet. Yay. Hmm. Building more keeps is likely the most pressing option, as you'll be able to foster more bloodlines. But don't shun the other possibilities. With your approval, we can research weapons, potions, armor. If the amount of time required dissuades you from researching something, consider the Sage Rites Guild. Any hero who joins the Sage Rites will hasten the time required for any pursuit. They will never see combat again. Keep in mind, most of our power is focused on charging up to cleanse the Cadence, so we can only devote enough energy to research one thing at a time. That includes searching for new heroes, it takes a lot of effort to find people attuned with us, and it'll only get harder the more we do it. 
But choose whatever you want. Let's build a new keep. I'm gonna do it in the immediate area though. Because last time I played, I ended up uh, completely uh, building over the outer region. Which did mean that uh, all of my buildings were constantly under attack. It wasn't very nice. We could do with like one. One outer region fortress, I think. Without threatening everything. I'm not sure. Let's go with inner region for now. Oh, yeah. One more thing. The end of this war is not even a glimpse on our horizon yet. But your immortality gives us an advantage. The ability to step back and let time pass. You can start and stop this timeline at will. But we'll also stop it for you should something require your attention. Like a cadence attack. That is a probable possibility. All right, let's let time pass then. Babies. Babies have been made. The horns of birth. A cause for celebration indeed. Babies have been born before today. And it was glorious every time, was it not? Look at this puppy. What? Unbearable shrieking and smells that are even worse? Look at the puppy. That's your idea of glorious. Puppy. Yes. That is glorious. Look at that puppy. Alright. I don't see any traits or the like yet. But that may be purely because uh, he hasn't actually developed any. Or she, I didn't even look. Oh well. Years are passing. I think the keep just finished. It always feels weird accomplishing something without having beaten it into submission. Hmm. Should have seen my books after I was done with them. Alright, I'm gonna not deal with that just now. We are going to build the Sage Rite skill though. Uh, also in the inner circle because I don't see any uh, bonuses for that because it is possible to have areas which have sage right or crucible bonuses specifically like this one is local keep increased in fertility but it's also possible to have like a local sage right skill that has increased uh, something 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 I don't really remember what or that one that just were all right uh it would probably be smarter for us to actually train him up a little more, but uh, okay. He will be a leader of a house, but this means we'll only get boom strikers again. I think most of our characters happen to be male. Oh well, what were your stats again? Puny, slow, and nearsighted. Mm. You? Bear strength, sickly, and slow. I don't really want the slow, though. Well, she's low fertility, but at least she is not much of a call it slow. <laughs> okay, how are your bobbies doing? You have two bobbies now, I think. You have Aqua, Shadow Hand. And Steven, Shadow Hand. Iron Hand, even. Shadow Jack is the profession. That's what I was confusing it with. Righty then. Let's let the time pass a little. Until a new attack as it rises. And then we will deal with that attack next time. Finally, some action! As you have no doubt surmised by now, it takes time for the Cadence to create its pawns. So they're only able to attack every few years. Unfortunately, you cannot fight back multiple incursions at the same time. Our primary focus is charging up to destroy our enemy, and we can only allot enough of our energy to send out one group of heroes at a time. Pawns don't last long outside of the Cadence either. So even if you win one battle, it'll be too late to fight the other. Choose wisely and... Blow the horns! Always blow the horns. Yeah! Yeah! 
Okay, I think we will be defending that one. But I will leave that for next time. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any ideas on what I may be doing incorrectly or whatever. Because I only played this game once before, you know, just when it came to Steam platform. Like when the early access began. So, you know, if you know anything good, have any advice, you know, if I'm breeding people incorrectly or whatever, just let me know. Yeah, okay, thanks. I'll see you next time.